What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Game Night with Retro. So welcome to another um, adventure, another another uh, journey, and another quest into parallel time where we are going to go back and rewrite history. So yes, this was this one's personal folks. This one's personal. As you can see, we're on the Denver Broncos homepage here. We got I got Tecmo Super Bowl Three Special or uh, Final Edition loaded into the Sega Genesis and powered up already because we're get, we're getting into it. Um, we're going back to 1996, uh, specifically January of 1997, where it was the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars traveling to Denver in the Mile High City. At Mile High Stadium, taking on the heavily favored Denver Broncos, and the Broncos uh, squandered the game. They uh, they came out, they jumped up on Jacksonville early in the first quarter, uh, twelve to nothing, which was kind of weird. It was like uh, they got the touchdown and but missed the extra point. Uh, we got another touchdown, but then we went to for a two point conversion, but didn't work. It, Sharp dropped it. So there's your 12 points. So personally, I would have just kicked the extra point, made it 13 to nothing. I mean, yeah, sure, 14 to nothing would be great, but you know, it was early. You're up. Don't don't take anything. Don't don't like to me going for the two point conversion and not getting it. Actually, to me, it was actually a pivotal point in the game. It was like a, it's like ah, oh, it was it was like. A letdown, you know. I know that may sound weird. It's like you were up twelve to nothing, but still, it's like you had the momentum. Yeah, just go and kick the extra point. It's early. It's like you you're up. You're early, but to me, it's, that just showed Shanahan. Yeah, that, that was a gap. That was a that was a blunder on Shanahan's part. It's like you're up. You got the momentum. Kick the extra point. You're up thirteen to nothing. You know, bam. If you get another touchdown, kick that. If you get another touchdown, uh, that'd make it 20. It's like, I didn't see this. I didn't understand that, like, need to go for the two-point conversion. Like, in the, in the first quarter of the game when you're up like that. It's like, so, yeah, that, that was, um, I'm going to put that on Shanahan. That, yeah, that, that was, that was kind of idiotic. Just just being honest, Mike. Sorry. Uh, that was dumb. But you take the points, you know. You're there. There's, there's no reason to go for the two-point conversion. Especially when you're up like that. If it's later in the game and you, you're you know you're needing to make up points, then okay, I could see you going for it then. But not in that situation, man. Not in that situation. Ah, so we are going back to that game, and we're going to uh, see if we can uh, beat those Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm I'm playing the whole game, so we're I'm. This is how I would do it, right? <laughs> um. So yeah. So if, uh, if if we in fact do that, then we then Denver would be, uh, become the the only team, along with the well, I, I'm going to say the second team because in parallel time the 49ers uh, they got their three peat, you know they uh, beat Buffalo and that's in Super Bowl 25, so that that was their three peat. So it's kind of opposite for Denver, right? Um, the 49ers that was their like third um, third Super Bowl in a row where in this situation this would be the first one of three right so and with San Francisco that was the third of three Super Bowls this will be the first of three for Denver because you know they won it in 97 and 98 back to back and so therefore I, I feel Denver was another team that could have could have done a three-peat if they just didn't you know, botch that Jacksonville game in the divisional, because I could I could see him beating uh, the Patriots at Mile High, right? Um, and then they'd go on to face Green Bay in the Super Bowl, where they beat Green Bay the next year. So that's my uh, thoughts on this. Uh, you know, we're parallel time uh, thing here. So we're going to try to give Denver their three peat. Just going to try to give give them that first one that they got instead of, you know, before they got the second and third, right? So that's what we're up to tonight on Retro Review. Stay tuned. Let's get into it. Okay. 
Welcome to Mile High Stadium, ASC Divisional Playoff Game. Denver Broncos hosting the Jacksonville Jaguars. Denver wins the toss and elects to receive. Davis a two yard loss on the first play of the game. Jacksonville defense ready for it. Ready, set. Eight yard gain on that play, third and five here. Complete the Shannon Sharp. Gain of 12 yards. The drive continues. Ready, set, red 24. Davis with a tough run, 17-yard gain. The, Den the Denver offense does, does uh, tout some uh, power football since they got TD, you know, like in the ground game. They, that's a nice improvement from years ago. finds Ed McCaffrey all alone in the end zone. The extra point is botched. They had trouble with the snap. Score. Denver leads 6-0. Short of the first down, third and inches, big play coming up here. Ready, set. <laughs> oh, Denver's defense was all geared up to stop the run, and they did. Loss of three yards. Elway fights Ed McCaffrey again, but he fumbles the ball. The Jags have it.
Crawford Williams sacks Burdell. Brings up third and eight. Sacks Brunel. They were at the punt. It took about a field goal range. Oh, they had a punt rush on them. Got through, though. Wow, what a punt. Complete to the Anthony Miller 49 yard game. Again, catch a torpedo 12 yards. Ready, Pitch out Terrell Davis. He's got room. Touchdown. He's in the end zone. He's got another touchdown for this team. So now Mike Shanahan, in this situation, you got the momentum, you got, the, you know, the advantage, you're up 12 to nothing, what do you do? You send out Jason Elam to kick an extra point, not go for two. So that's what the score should have been. But no, you went for two because it was only 12 to nothing, so the... Yeah, that showed you was that showed that you was uh, started to panic. No reason to go for two in that situation. No reason at all. You go for two if it's to me if it's in the second half. I, I I'm just gonna say that if it's a you should not go for two points unless it's in the second half and you're like down a lot and you're desperate for points as you need as much as you can. But in the first half, especially in, th in that situation, in the first quarter, it was you got a touchdown, but you botched the extra point. But then you got another touchdown, and, and it was twelve to nothing. You're you're dominating the game. You got the momentum, and so you went for two, but then didn't make it. So it's like, oh, it was a kind of a letdown. So it's like you gave the Jaguars life. It's like don't do that. So there you go. That, there's, there's where I rewrote history right there at that moment in time. Right, we went, we just kicked the extra point, go up 13 nothing, and let the fans celebrate instead of being, oh, dirty, he missed.
complete to Jimmy Smith for a 15-yard gain. Jaguars need to get something going. Charmines said gain of 10 yards, so he should get the first shut out the first down. Yeah. Natron means business, at least on that play he did. <laughs> Defense looked like they were going to get him for a loss, but he made a heck of a uh, turn, cut it back inside. Nice play for his team. Stewart, another seven yard gain. Jaguars getting a little mojo going here. Broncos recover. Oh, that one stings because they was, you know, getting a nice little drive going there and then, then that happens, right? Elway's calling an audible at the line of scrimmage. Pitch out to Terrell Davis. He saw they was in pass coverage there, so he audible to the run there. Nice, nice call, nice audible there. Ready, set. Oh, the defense got to Elway that time, Jeff Logaman. Scrambles just for a six yard gain short of the first down, of course, so they're going to have to punt out. Tom Race among the ruin. Pretty good punt. Pins a, pin the Jags back there at the 12 yard line. Pretty good punt, Tom Ruin. Well, the Jags got a chance here before half to get something going. Brunel completes to Natron Meads. Dragon Defenders, a 57-yard game. Jags needed a big play like that. Cardell, 20-yard catch. Ooh, the Jags, they've come alive here, but can they finish it here? Can they get it in the end zone? Ready, they do! Brunel threaded the needle and found Natron Beans. That, 
That's huge, folks. That was huge. Denver's got 44 seconds and all their timeouts. I think they're going to try to get something here before half. LA finds Ed McCaffrey. He's across midfield. Oh, but he's hurt on the play. Mike Sherrard will come in and uh, replace Ed McCaffrey there. So the clock has stopped there because of the injury, 22 seconds. Call Terrell Davis pitch out down to the 30. I think they are in field goal range. Ooh, barely got the. <laughs> Jason Elam lines up for the kick. One second on the clock. The kick is up. Jason Elam adds three to the score, 16 to seven at the half. Not bad, not a bad game. I mean, it looked like Denver was gonna run, run away with it early, but, but then Jacksonville did get that drive and get a touchdown, finally got it in the end zone. They did have the drive earlier, but it's, you know, they had the fumble. Jaguars do get the second half kickoff, so. Definitely, they definitely need another a drive right here to, to fully get back in this game. Keenan McCarnell on the punt return for the kickoff, but he fumbles the ball. Trying to find Miller there over the middle, but Jags defense holds. Sean Bean's another catch. Rob well, Burnell was uh, got a thing for Natron today.
complete to Shannon Sharp. Broke a tackle and got some extra yardage in a first down. Finding a rhythm here, finds Anthony Miller for a 15 yard gain. Sacked at the 50. Big loss on the play, third and 26. Ready, set, red, 24. Round 32. Elway finds Anthony Miller. Touchdown. What a play. 50-yard touchdown pass. Nice. It's good. Ooh, that was big. 23-7. Jags needed to... That fumble hurt them on that kickoff, right? It's like they thought that. It's like, all right, here they go. They're back in it. But, man, that fumble really hurt. Again, the fumble, the it's just showed its ugly head again. Oh, ready, ready. Yard run by Terrell Davish. That puts him over the hundred yard mark today. That's the end of the third quarter, 23 7. Den look, Denver looks like on the verge of throwing the knockout punch. Miller again. Thirty to seven, folks. We've def I think the mile eye magic has showed itself today. The this too much, you know. <laughs> there were, the Jags had opportunities, but when they did, they squat. They, 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 they squat. 
honored. James Stewart with a big run. He's still going. 51 yard gain. Give the give him credit. They're still fighting. Dean Perry sacks Burnell. He had plenty of time. I look like it must have been a coverage sack. Sacks Brunel on fourth down. Ready, set, set. Anthony Miller again. He's got the hat trick. Fifty-yard touchdown. And with that play, Anthony Miller has 150 yards receiving today. Just too much offense for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Too much offense from Denver and Den J Jacksonville's offense had ch opportunities, but they just they just squatted them. They, you know, they just did. Maybe the stage was too big for him this game, you know what I mean? Maybe next year. Finds Jimmy Smith down the sidelines. 72 yard gain. The Jags are playing for playing for dignity, a little bit of dignity right now. Tight end Davenport gets it in there. Jaguars on the board again. But sorry, it's too little too late here. So yes, in this situation, I guess go ahead and go for two. Like they are, you know. They're down, they're desperate for points.
think to, why was Anthony Miller returning that kickoff? And I had Mike Sherrard in there for kickoffs. This thing got him a this thing does things without asking you? <laughs> Jeez. It's like why is he in there and doing that? the ball. No, Bill Romanowski with the recovery. See you like there. <laughs> they got a break, but then they just they just goof it up. Ready. <laughs> Trail Davis, another tough run. 17-yard gain. looks to be running out the clock right now. 20, only 23 seconds left. Hand off to Aaron Craver. Get him a run. Yeah. Nice, nice game. Keep the clock going. We got we to run one more play here. game folks Denver wins in convincing fashion 37 to 13 neither quarterback threw an interception but LA had the better day 80% 304 yards Burnell a decent day but a lot of, you know, like I said, it, it came at the end, you know. Terrell Davis, 15 carries, 127 yards. Very solid day. Look at Anthony Miller, 6 catches, 201 yards. So I, I'm going to say Anthony Miller gets player of the game, right? Heck of a game. Three touchdowns. There you go. And so Denver moves on to the AFC Championship game. We will be hosting the AFC Championship game here at Mile High Stadium against hosting the New England Patriots. So the Broncos beat the Patriots 14 to 5 in a low scoring championship game.
So in parallel time, the Broncos and Packers met in back-to-back -back Super Bowls in the 96 and 97 season. Barber and the Packers did have their moments of brilliance in this game. But in the end, Elway and the Broncos proved to be too much for Green Bay today. So Jason Elam closes out the Broncos scoring with this fourth quarter field goal, making it 37 to 21 the final score. So that's what happened in parallel time, guys. The Broncos, because of that decision to kick the extra point against Jacksonville when it was up 12 to nothing, they went on to beat the Patriots in the championship and the Packers in the Super Bowl. Joining the 49ers as only the second team to win the Super Bowl three years straight, the 96, 97, and 98 seasons. So boo yeah! <laughs> That's how it unfolded in parallel time. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for tonight's video. I know this was a little bit lengthy one, but it was uh, necessary to tell the story of a uh, parallel time of those uh, 96 Broncos, right? That, uh, you know, and, our, and, and this time we, they came up uh, short in that uh, game against Jacksonville. So that's why when I 
thought about these parallel time videos, I was like, hmm, yeah, definitely I would go back and, you know, change some things there and uh, rewrite history. So there you go. So hope you enjoyed uh, this this uh, time warp that I uh, created, you know, uh, this but I think that's going to do it for the video tonight. Thanks once again for joining me. It's always a good time having you here in the chat. I always enjoy interacting with you guys. But that's going to do it for the video. Leave me your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But if this is your first time to the channel, tap subscribe, then the bell ding ding, so you're notified when I upload new videos. So until next time, guys, keep it retro, and come Lord Jesus.